I can't believe I'm doing this video. You guys, look at me getting into the holly jolly spirit. This is how you know I've been hanging out with Alice too much. To be clear, okay, I'm not a Christmas girly, but my husband loves Christmas. So I'm trying to be less of the Grinch this year. I actually put up a Christmas tree. I'll throw in a photo of what it looks like. I'm hoping to pick up some different ornaments with Alice, hopefully this weekend, because these are kind of just like filler ornaments. Um, it's not quite reflective of my style and it's a little boring and plain, so I'm hoping to get some quirky and cute and funny ornaments. But anyway, um, not that I'm saying I'm quirky and cute and fun, but I just think it would be funner to have those kinds of ornaments. I know everybody is in the holly jolly spirit right now, so I thought it would be the perfect time to get up a holiday gift guide. Before going into this video, I kind of already had an idea of who I wanted to mention in this gift guide, but I also opened up my um, questions on Instagram to get your guys' suggestions, and I just wanted to see what like the popular votes were, so I did integrate those as well. Um, but I've got my laptop next to me because we're going to be going through uh, screen recordings of the website. I'm going to give you guys sort of my top picks from each of those websites. Uh, just FYI, all of these places are Canada and US based. I'm sorry to anyone who is abroad and can't purchase from them or if I just am not being inclusive to like, you know, stores overseas. but. Uh, I would say the majority of my audience is located in the Americas and yeah, that's just kind of the reality of it. But at least you guys can like look at cool things and look at cool plants and hopefully just like hang out with me for the next hour or so. But before we get started, today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. If you don't know who Skillshare is, I have just been talking nonstop about them for the past what feels like two years. Um, but I really do love this company and I believe in them and I've been really really utilizing a lot of their classes that they that they offer so if you don't if you're not familiar with skillshare it's a online learning community that just has a bunch of classes anything you can think of from graphic design photography final cut pro learning adobe photoshop everything you can think of and they are taught by teachers taught by industry professionals and taught by other creatives which i think is a huge bonus one reason that i really love using skillshare is because it's modeled on a learn by doing approach which is how i learn and you can basically take the classes on your own schedule at your own time at your own time on your own time at your own pace and there's no like pressure or rush to like get through classes you can just do it whenever it's convenient for you i mentioned a few months ago that i was going to go the diy route for some of my christmas gifts this year and i didn't really know what that was going to look like so i literally just browsed on skillshare to see what kind of art classes they offered i was like maybe i can do like watercolor painting or i can just like make prints for people or just do custom shirts i didn't know what that was going to be um but i showed a little friend that i received from my neighbor a few months ago which was this clay worm and he's so cute let's just pretend this is him because i forgot to bring him it was just this like handmade worm that you just stick in your soil and it's like a little plant pal and i was like that is genius i want to do that so in um perusing skillshare's class offerings i came across a class called air dry clay basics how to sculpt colorful caterpillars by stephanie kilgast and i loved the idea of clay art but i've always been intimidated by like the firing or drying process and when i realized that she was using air dry clay i'm like oh that makes so much sense like i can totally do that so i got everything that i needed i watched this class maybe three or four times and honestly i had to watch it so many times because it was so relaxing between her voice and the music and like the time lapsing of her creating these little caterpillars i was like oh my god it's like a massage for my eyeballs so i did have to go through it quite a few times but i did it and um it's not as simple as it seems let's just say i went into it thinking oh i can definitely do that that's super easy it wasn't but at the same time it wasn't as difficult or impossible as i thought it was going to be so let me kind of show you my creations i've made quite a few now i've been sharing them on instagram but i'm going to show you two that i am the most proud of the first one is a snake 
and I kind of wanted it to resemble a pretzel you know like the Auntie Anne's pretzel and I do think I'm going to make some pretzel because I still have some extra clay left I think I'm gonna make little air dry pretzels for my Christmas tree like little ornaments anyway so this is my snake I made a snake <laughs> and I think he's kind of cute I, I don't know exactly where I'm gonna be putting this so again these are supposed to be plant pals you stick them in your pot this one's a bit big but I think I can actually stick it maybe in my yucca um, just to sit it on top of the soil and it can be a little friend um, and then I also made one caterpillar now you're probably wondering where its legs are and I decided I don't want to do legs one it's just so tedious to make the legs and Stephanie teaches you how to make the legs but I was like I can't be bothered and since I was just planning on like sitting it on top of the soil I really didn't feel like the legs were necessary because you wouldn't see them but look how cute he turned out obviously I know there's no caterpillar that looks like this but I thought that like instead of trying to make realistic caterpillars I would just do ones that like I could just make little art things on and so I do want to make a few more of these my sister has basically forced me to make her one and I thought it turned out really cute I'm proud of this guy I've made a few others but I think this one turned out the best I'm still kind of trying to figure out the process of painting because I have been running into some issues with like the paint peeling. I don't know if it's the quality of the clay I'm using or the quality of the paints I'm using or maybe I'm not letting things dry long enough, but I think it turned out pretty stinking cool. So I am super proud of these. Yeah, I'm just so glad that I took the class and so now I can start really start working on these um, Christmas gifts and I think what I'll be doing are the little caterpillars maybe a little smaller so that you can actually fit it into a pot because these are quite large and then um, ornaments so if you've been wanting to try Skillshare the first 500 people to use the link in my description will get 30 days free and 40% off your first year of membership so thank you Skillshare for the inspiration this year on doing my DIY gifts I don't think I'm going to be a clay artist anytime soon but it's kind of cool to have something that I'm that I can do now while I'm like watching movies and things like that and so I think over the next few weeks I'll be able to get all my Christmas gifts done um, which I will include in a week of hopefully in December so um, yeah thank you Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and let's get started on this gift guide all right so I have scooched as much as I can scooch and hopefully I've left enough room next to me to insert all of the screen recordings and things like this so we're just gonna go through each place one by one and the first one that I want to highlight is a place called Canopy, Canopy Plant Co. I have actually never heard of this company before. This was a suggestion by you guys. There were about five people that suggested this place. So um, they are based in New Orleans, Louisiana. And by the way, I'm going to plug in because I don't want to keep throwing things up on the screen. All of their information, like their website and things like that, is going to be in the description. All of the companies that I'm going to mention today in the USA category, I'm going to go through the US shops first, they all offer shipping across the, the US. And none of them, from what I can see, have any restrictions in the winter. It seems like everybody is still shipping out, so hopefully that information is right. Um, but yeah, the, this place does ship across the US. They do have quite a bit of plants and I made note of that as one of my pros that um, they had a pretty wide selection of plants from like your common plants that you can find at big, big box stores to um, more harder to find uh, plants like this Alocasia Dragon's Breath. It's unfortunate that we haven't been getting these in big baskets or big pots in Canada. I'm sure it's just a matter of time, but I have seen like with many U.S. shops that um, they they are offering Dragon's Breath. So I know that there's a there's a greenhouse out there that's pumping them out, but they haven't made it out here so far. Um, so yeah, I clicked on this Stramanthi Charlie because I thought it was really cool. What else did they have a lot of? I did note that they have a lot of different alocasias. If you have been looking to add some to your wish list, they do have quite a bit of Hoyas. They have that Dishidia Dragon Jade that I really love. 
A Syngonium Chia Pence was one of my suggestions a couple months back if you have been looking for a Syngonium but don't want that like typical Syngonium look. Oh, my Lanta. The sun, it burns. I'm gonna have to just like hold this over because the sun is moving right now. It should go away in just a second. Another thing that I noticed with this uh, company is that their pricing is pretty reasonable both for their like harder to find imported plants plus they're just like normal normal plants and they seem to have like a lot of good reviews if you look at like the product reviews i don't know if these are filtered i sometimes i'm wary about the reviews that websites post rather than just going on google where like things can't really be filtered as much like i think with some websites you can you know input a review but it doesn't mean that it's going to be public like they can choose which ones are public and which ones are not so i don't know how true that is again i don't have any experience with this company at all but it was um seemingly highly recommended by you guys one thing i wanted to also put in as a disclaimer is that like obviously i'm filming this I think I'm filming this a week before this is going to go up and I'm not sure what the stock is going to be like on these websites once um, this video does go live so unfortunately if it's available now that I'm showing it to you it's not guaranteed that it'll be in stock by the time you guys see this video. What I want to do now is highlight three of my picks that I would pick from this website. So the first one in, is that six inch Stramanthi Charlie. I am not a Stramanthi girl. I thought I was. I did own one before. It was the Trio Star, you know, that like pink, pinkish burgundy one with the green, which is very, very pretty. I couldn't keep that one alive. I don't know why. But this Stramanthi Charlie is actually really, really pretty. I've never seen it before. Um, the variegation kind of reminds me of like a marble queen. I, I think that if you have like a friend that's a Stramanthi lover and maybe you want to get something that's a little bit less expensive but like really unique, this is a good pick. It's only $29.99. My second pick from this company would be the um, 6 inch Philodendron Gloriosum. I, I know that Gloriosums are so common right now, like everyone has one, but I still think it's hard to find really good, good specimens. And these ones look nice. It looks like whatever stock they got in are like the really stripy ones. Now, keep in mind, um, uh, Alice has alluded to this a few times in her videos, but she believes that like the stripiness of the Gloriosums really come out in high heat. So I don't know if this is going to keep up, but just from the looks of it right now, it looks very beautiful. It looks like it would be like a really silvery, bright, stripy Gloriosum. So this one is $39.99, which is not bad for a six inch pot. And then the last one that I'm going to suggest, and I really, I kind of want one now. I know Alice has one is the Allocation Nobilis Sandariana. Sandariana? She calls this the Rocco's Modern Life plant. And if you watched that cartoon when you were younger, you'll kind of understand why. It definitely looks like one that would be in that cartoon. This one is not very common. I don't see them for sale really ever here. Alice had to go to a show to get one from a private seller. Um, it's a six inch pot. It looks like it's a pretty decent size already and it is only $24.99 And yeah, those would be my three picks from this shop specifically And a good thing about this shop is that they accept shop pay So if you don't know what shop pay is, it's basically like you can pay in installments And so yeah, if you have like a larger bill and you don't want to just drop all that money right away You can do it in installments and I believe if you do it in like four payments, I'm not quite sure what the terms are, but I think if you can do it in four payments, there's like no interest. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next shop. The next one is one that I am very excited to talk about. It's the Peace, Love, and Happiness Club, and they are based in Seattle, Washington. You guys, you don't even know how bad I've been wanting to go to this place. The last time that I was in Seattle, I didn't even know that it existed because if it did, I would have been there in a hot second. And I see so many people from here locally that like go all the way to Seattle just to go there and like all their pictures are so cool. They come back with like the coolest plants. They always look so healthy, pest free. 
and um yeah it just looks like a really fun fun shop and so i think the next time that i can make it over to seattle which i hope is soon i really love going there in the winter just this, i don't know it just reminds me of like sleepless in seattle and like the rain and the overcast it's just so magical the thing i like about this shop is that they have like little categories so like if you're not really familiar with plants but you want to find a gift like they have the the promos they have the like little bundles that you can do and that way it's just kind of curated already for whoever you're gifting it to but they do have a good selection of like your common run-of-the-mill plants and then they also have like the more rare ones i hate that word so much i did note that they had so many different kinds of skin dapsis now i'm not a fan of selling just like unrooted cuttings but it seems like that's a common thing like i've seen a few just like random cuttings that they have for sale but again um i think the price reflects it it's not like an insane price for a cutting it's kind of the risk you take i would say a majority of their plants are rooted they have a good mix of different anthurium some that are more common some that are less common uh, lots of again lots of skin dapsis they have hoyas they have monsteras philodendrons and they have even some like arid plants like this i'm gonna say this wrong phokia edulis <laughs> a codex native to south africa it's a bulbous root and it looks it looks pretty cool but i'm not really into the the bulbous plants anymore i just find that i don't really have a good place to put them but the plants that they are selling are like a really good size like they're gifting size already jumping into their like gift section i love when plant shops have an assortment of like just different gifts because i just think it brings like interest to the shop even if it's not plant related just like fun little trinkets here and there is just like so fun so they have these things these sushi cat key rings which are so funny so if you have a cat lover in your life, that's a fun one. They got so many cool things. It seems like this the shop owner must be a cat lover because there's so many cat things. These yoga cats plant markers are so funny. I don't really have faith that I could make a clay cat, honestly. Naked ramblers. <laughs> oh, and these freaking felt mushrooms are so cute. I love the co I feel like this color palette is perfect the green the blue and the the red like the shades of those colors are just so perfect I would actually love to hang something like that on my tree on my Christmas tree this place has just like a really really good assortment of different plants and also little gifts so a note that I made about this shop is that there are some plants that are kind of at the higher price point than what I've seen at other shops but I feel like they still have enough plants that are priced decently or priced affordably, um, especially if it's going to be a gift. And then one of the, I wouldn't say really a con, but I guess a thing of note is that they don't offer anything like shop pay. So here are my three picks for this uh, shop. The first one is a Deschidia, I can never say this word. Deschidia pneumol pneumolarifolia. Pneumolarif if it just seems like it's not. Who named this? I hate it. Pneumolar pneumolarifolia. Pneumol pneumolarifolia. Pneumolarifolia. Meh. Deschidia pneumolarifolia. Idea minubu. Dragon jade. So. They have sold this Deschidia locally before and I have always really loved it because it's just a freaking weirdo guy plant. Um, and I actually still have it on my wish list because I would love to add it to my hanging Deschidia hanging Ripsalis collection. But all of the ones that they sold here before just look so sick. Like they were just like all yellow basically. And so I just never really like at the price point that it was at, I couldn't really justify it. But um, it looks like it's on sale. So this one is $44. It looks like it's in a two inch pot or maybe three. So it's a, it's a pretty small plant, but from what I can see, it's like already trailing. I don't know how um, big the actual ones that are shipped, the actual ones that will be shipped are, are, but it looks healthy from what I can see. The second one is the Philodendron Tortum, and this one is a two and a half inch plant. 
so quite small but it's already sort of like a good size even though it's in a tiny little pot it's not like you're getting a little tiny thing like this like it's a still a good size and it's only 22 dollars. so to me that is a very very good deal that is i mean they were selling tortum here locally for like 10 bucks but they one looked very very ill and two were way smaller than this they were like in four inch pots but way less mature than this so to me this is a good deal i like this one if you've been looking for a tortum for yourself or you've been looking to gift a tortum this is a good one it's obviously really fun to get a tortum that's like really nice and big but i have really enjoyed growing mine from a tiny plant because it's just it's so rewarding and it is a fast grower so it'll get huge in no time the third one that i pick and i wrote hesitatingly because of the price but it's the philodendron cream splash so i've always really loved the cream splash i felt like it was the closest that i could get to a gabby it's only a two inch pot and it's freaking 98 dollars. i feel like that's so expensive crazy expensive for a trailing plant but um if i had to pick a third it would be that one so obviously buy at your own risk i think you could probably find it cheaper elsewhere but that would be pick number three for me moving on to the next one i had to mention my friends over at bros with hose because um, if you didn't know i am an affiliate with them you have no obligation to use my code at all if you don't want but i love working with them because it was one of the first companies that i purchased from to get like my first like imported alocasia it was an alocasia michalitziana maxkowskii which is the green version of the fry deck and it was a great experience for me such a healthy plant absolutely no pests well rooted acclimatized just fine um and yeah i just love that company so they are based in orlando florida and they do ship usa wide and the pro with buying from them is that if you spend over 99 dollars, you get free shipping so i will say off the bat that bros with hose they're not the company that you're gonna go to like to get like the most selection like it seems like it's very very curated what they're going to um put on the website because I don't think I've ever seen more than like 50 plants on their website at once. From what I've seen, they do tend to ficus larger plants. Like I bought a ficus chiveriana from my mom and it looked like it was in a tiny, a teeny tiny little pot. But when she got it, it was like so much bigger than expected. So that was a nice surprise. Um, you can see right now they only have three pages of plants. Um, but they do have like a pretty good selection, Calathea, Hoyas, Monsteras. So even though they have a smaller selection of plants, they are very good quality, they're very well cared for. And so if it's going to be a gift and you're just sending it directly to them, in my opinion, they're already like in gifting condition. And I would say that their pricing is very reasonable. It's very comparable to what you would see in other shops. Um, they kind of follow market pricing. And a pro is that they accept shop pay over $50. Uh, so here are my picks from this company. Um, the first one is gonna be the Thai Constellation, which is $49.99. I actually have a um, Thai Constellation from Bros with Hose, and it came at a very, very good um, size already. I've seen other companies selling the Thai Constellation for $49.99, but they're much smaller. My second pick would be the Ficus Shiveriana. I love my Ficus Shiveriana. Theirs has like really, really nice, like the one that my mom got was like super pink. And that's what I love in the Ficus Shiveriana is that mix of like creamy variegation with like the pink. And it seems like a lot of their Shiverianas have like lean towards pink and it's only $19.99. It's a good price. Even though it kind of looks like it would be difficult, it's not. To me, it makes a really great gift. And then the last one that I would recommend is the Sirius Verbestii Spiralis. I have actually been eyeing this one for a while, but I have been holding back because I just, I don't know if in my current place I have a great spot for my cacti. My windowsill used to be where I kept all of them, but I think as time has gone on, I'm just like, I really like the look of just like a clean windowsill. 
like all i have on there right now is one of my euphorbias and my little disco ball sitting on the on the ledge and that's enough for me i don't oh and then i have my hanging ripsalis in the window so i don't want it to be too cluttered so um yeah i've held off on getting one of these but i would say this is a good price for this size it's a six inch pot 49.99 and yeah, it's super, super cute. So if you have a cactus lover in your life, this would be my recommendation. You guys might hear some background noise because it is time for Pudge to go for his walk. Um, okay, I have one, two, I have two more um, shops to highlight in the US. So the next one is the Plant Lady SF. This one was extremely highly recommended. I think I got like nine or 10 people that recommended this one. Obviously, she's based in San Francisco, California. I have not been there myself, but I actually have like personal friends, like in real life friends that have been there. They've sent me photos and um, they thought it was really cute. I think of all of the websites that I was looking at, I think I had the most fun on this one. It just seems really carefully and thoughtfully curated both in the plants that they're offering and also the little gifts the plant supplies the trinkets it's just a fun little shop and i just like after browsing the website i was like man it must be so fun to um to shop here like in person so uh yeah they have a good selection again of just your normal common plants but she also has like your imported plants and ones that are going to be harder to find these stickers were so cute it's by paper anchor co and unfortunately a lot of them are sold out there was only the allocation one that was available but the rare plants oh the rare plants clear sticker pack i really like i would use that for like my um, my hydro flask or maybe my laptop or something um, they've got shears too, which are really cool. I always think that shears are a good gift idea. I received some fancy shears for Christmas one year and I loved it and I still use it all the time. I feel like I was definitely gravitating toward her gift section more than the actual plants. Um, one note that I made is that there's not a huge selection of available plants, at least not on the website. Um, so I was really just like looking at a lot of the gift stuff, which I think is like the perfect gift idea. Like for me, obviously it's fun to receive plants as gifts, but plant trinkets and plant thing thingamabobs are so fun. Okay, these tiny cowboy hats, I'm dead. They are so freaking funny. I wanna get one for my booby cactus. It, it would just fit on there so perfectly. So yeah, they've got ferns they've got a bunch of air plants alocasia calathea ficus did i say ferns they have some pings a ping is a really good gift idea too i would love to receive a ping for christmas oh <laughs> pretty good mix of this and that and um the notes that i made is that they don't have a huge selection of available plants i think i mentioned that earlier but of the ones that are available, you're going to get your good mix of Hoya, your aeroids, carnivorous plants, orchids. I saw that they had a few orchids, but they do have very good curated gifts. Again, I think if I could pick any of these companies to purchase the gift or trinkets from, it would be this shop. Um, I thought they had really fair pricing, which was surprising for me given the cost of living in San Francisco. It's very similar to here. So um, fair pricing for <laughs> being, you know, having a brick and mortar in a very, very expensive city. Um, and then a pro is that they accept shop pay. So here were my suggestions. I actually had four recommendations for the plant lady sf and that's because they just had so many good things so the first thing that i'm recommending is the anthurium red crystallinum i don't know the origins of these red crystals from what i can see they're very very small they don't quite they're not quite showing the beauty of the red crystal now but um 
I think it's because they're very small but for a plant this size already that's a little bit like I would say larger than just a seedling it's only $75 and again they accept shop pay so if you have a, a friend that's been looking for a red crystal maybe you'll want to get it from her <laughs> another thing that I recommended is the freaking cowboy hat guys it's only $3.50 that is a that's a great $3.50 well spent I could think of two plants in my collection right now that would look so funny. I hate my my penis cactus right now because it looks so weird, but I think I would like it a little bit more if it had one of these cowboy hats on. So that was my second pick. My third pick was tree fern fiber. So this is, I, I just wanted to throw this in there because I think if you have a friend or maybe if you even have just been wanting to try tree fern fiber out to see if it's worth it without investing in like an entire bag she offers a six ounce bag for twelve dollars and for me I think that's a good price for um, experimentation purposes it's enough to pot one plant see how you like it you can also mix perlite in with it, you can mix pond in with it, some worm castings, make it stretch a little bit further. Um, so that is a good gift idea and it's already like packaged really cutely um, and ready to just throw into a gift bag. And then the last one is the Eulichnia, Eulichnia castanea CV varis, varis spiralis. I probably butchered that. So this one is a super cool cactus. I think, I don't know if my friend Jing has one of these or maybe she sent a picture when she was at a shop on the East Coast and she wanted it, but it was so big and expensive. This is the perfect size. Like if I could add this um, cactus to my collection, I think this would be my ideal size. So it's $75, a bit pricey for a cactus, but you don't really see this one offered like very often. I can't remember the last time that I would have seen this being offered. I think there's only one shop that I might, that I'm featuring today, and I think they have this in stock, but it's much bigger. So this is a good like gift giving size, and it's not like an insane price, uh, but again, they have shop pay. And then the last shop that I just wanna quickly um, highlight in the US is my friend Era at Propagation Diaries. I couldn't do a gift guide without including her, of course. I have talked about her products on this uh, channel quite a few times. FYI, everything that I have from her is gifted. So I just wanna put that out there. Off the bat, I will tell you that it's at a higher price point, like her products are at a higher price point than what you're gonna see elsewhere. But again, you're paying that like small business, handmade, small batch pricing. So for me, like, cause I've, you know, I've purchased many products from small businesses and I always know that the price is gonna be higher, but I keep that in mind that I'm not just like purchasing from a place like Walmart. So, and she does have shop pay. If you are looking for my recommendations from Propagation Diaries, my first one is going to be the Architrellis in the original, I think this is, it's the original size. This one and the XL is the one that I use the most um, with my Hoyas. And I would recommend the crystal clear color if you want one that's like really sleek and you just, you don't wanna even see the trellis. Sometimes I even forget some of my Hoyas are on trellises because I can't see it, which is the point. But another color that I really like is the um, Smoky Black. And another color that I don't have, but I've seen lots of pictures of it, is the Iridescent Rainbow. So if you're into the colorful stuff, I would recommend that one. It's really, really pretty. The second thing that I would recommend are the Arca Acrylic Plant Supports. These are super handy for like starter philodendron, like if you have a climbing philodendron that's not quite large enough to put on a pole just yet, but you wanna give it some stability and you don't wanna use a chopstick or something wooden that's gonna rot, um, the acrylic plant supports are perfect. So the six inch size, which is about this this big, you can get a set of 100. I was shook, I was like, is this a typo? A hundred of them for $10, that's a lot. So you can split this with your friends, you can buy this as a gift and keep 50 for yourself because that's hecka, that's a lot of plant supports. So it comes in six inches and then it also comes in a 12 inch pack. 
the 12 inch pack is gonna run you at $15. So it's a 12, obviously much taller. I have a few of these that I'm using. I don't know if I have any over here, but I know that I'm using some in my plant room. So you can get 12 inch uh, acrylic plant stakes, 12 of them, a set of 12 for $15. So again, I think this is a really great um, gift idea. And then the last one that I want to recommend from her shop is her iridescent acrylic plant tags. I think these are so cool. So I actually um, have plant tags, but I like that I, I actually have clear plant tags, but I like these iridescent ones because I think it's easier to see the writing on it opposed to just using a clear one. And they're just so pretty and it's only $23 for a set of 25. It also comes in a set of 100. Um, but I think the 25 is more than enough for a gift. Those would be my picks from uh, Propagation Diaries. So now we're gonna move on to um, the Canada shops and I only have four and, oh no, three, three shops. There are quite a few um, shops in Canada and I can um, insert those in the description if you wanna give them a look, but I wanted to feature the three that I have personal experience with. So the first one is obviously gonna be my girl Lauren at North Shore Tropicals. I would say a big plus for her is that she ships both across the US and Canada wide. And when you purchase from her, her shipping costs also include Fido. From what I can remember, um, I help her with the restocks and we haven't done a big restock lately. So I don't think there's gonna be much on the website at the moment. She does have some plants available, I think mostly Anthurium. So what I really wanted to feature were some of her trinkets. So the first one, not trinkets, but plant supplies. So the first one that I want to suggest are her plastic moss poles. I pretty much exclusively only use her poles now. I don't really feel the need to use anyone else's because hers are the cheapest um, and they get the job they get the job done and they come in four different sizes so there's mini small medium and large obviously you can see the different sizes of the moss poles the sizes that i'm using the most are the mini and the smalls to be honest i have very little poles on like the two larger sizes because i just find that the mini and the small actually work exactly i mean they work for what I need right now in terms of how big my plants are. But obviously I have some exceptions, like some of my, like my Glorious obviously is on the largest size. And um, on the website, she hasn't included any updated pictures, but what you're seeing is her like frosted, frosted color, but it now comes in just acrylic clear where it's like, there's none of that like, that milky white color, it's just completely clear. Another one that I want to recommend are her clear trellises. So these ones I love because they are super, super sturdy. They are so sturdy, they're thick, they're durable, and they're clear, obviously, that's always a, a bonus. It comes in three different sizes, um, small, medium, and large. The small ones are $6.99. They come in a pack of five for $27.45, and I think the small ones are a good, are a good price. Um, and a good size. The medium um, in a pack of five is $32.45. And then the large ones in a pack of five is $42.45. And keep in mind, if you're shopping in the States, this is gonna be in Canadian dollars. So once you convert it, it's gonna be even cheaper. Um, I think these are great gifts. I think especially if you have a Hoya lover in your life, these are, these are just like such a, a magical gift. I would love to receive clear trellises as um, a gift. And she also has clear acrylic stakes as well. I am using a few. These ones are 25 inches, so they are tall. They're really tall. And I really like using these on its own with a plant. If you are like a bamboo stick lover, um, you're not really into like the big clunky moss poles, which is totally fine. The straight clear stakes are a good alternative to the bamboo stake. It's gonna be not obviously as thick and as heavy duty as a bamboo stake, but it's still gonna get the job done and then it's clear. So it's more like aesthetically pleasing. It kind of just looks like the plant is holding itself up. 
and they're only $2.99, which is a good price. And then the third one that I want to recommend are her holiday, well, they're not holiday cards, but they are planty cards. So I actually have some with me today. Okay, so we have two sets of cards, not we, she. She has two sets of cards available and the first set comes in a set of four. So this is good if you have a few plant friends that you wanna give give some holiday cards to. Obviously they're not holiday related, but I like that like these can double as little prints too or just like decor after. So the first card has the dark form or white veins gloriosum. It also has a single leaf elbow. This one has four different elbow leaves and then you have a um, homolo homolomina rubescens aurea variegated. And this little bundle here is uh, $14.99 Canadian. So have, have you guys been to the store lately and seen um, card prices? I was not much of a card giver before I met Vince. Vince and his family love cards. They all give cards every holiday, every birthday, everybody gets a card. <laughs> they just love their cards. And I was just shook. There was one day where I was like, oh, I'm just gonna go pick up a, a card for, I think it was like a birthday gift for his mom. And I was like, this card's like $12. Like why are the cards so expensive? So getting four cards for $14.99 is a steal. The second card set, um, there are three different cards in here. And this is the Ethereum set. So the first card is gonna be a clear nervium. So cute. And then a Baroquianum, obviously. And then the third one is a Regale. This one is $11.99. I actually snagged a few for some um, Christmas gifts this year. I just felt like if I wasn't gonna like hand make my cards, this is probably a good alternative because then at least they can like, you know, just display it somewhere if they want um, afterward. Oh, I put that in the wrong order. And then the third one, they're not cards, but they are the prints. This one has three prints in it. The first one, this one is my favorite one, I think, is the Gloriosum White Veins. Um, it has the Homolomina variegated, and then also the Albo. So this set of three prints is $34.99. And I just think it makes a good, like a good add-on to a gift. And you can even just like go to your local like home sense or something and pick up a frame for it. So yeah, those are my recommendations for Lauren's shop. She obviously has a bunch of other things as well. Um, so give out, give her website. A gander if you want to get it in time for Christmas um, I would try and order soon especially if it's gonna be a plant because it is getting cold here in Canada she does offer um, insulation and heat packs also keep that in mind if you're going to be purchasing in the winter you might want to add on one of those to your order okay the next one is a shop called crystal star nursery I love crystal star they're based in Ontario and they do ship Canada wide, but they don't ship plants in the cold months, obviously. So they're not shipping plants right now, but I wanted to feature it because they have a freaking massive supply of plants and it's a good place to go if you wanna discover plants you've never heard of before. Not really in the aeroid section, but like if you, if you wanna find like cool codex plants, euphorbia, just arid plants, they have so many. So even if you can't buy it, like if you're in the States or just like somewhere overseas and you're trying to find like cool plants to add to your collection, this is gonna be a good website to go to because they just always have plants where I'm like, I've never even seen or heard that before. So let's take a look at what they've got on the website. I tend to go on this website when I'm like watching a TV show or something and I'm just, kind of scrolling as I'm watching. If you're a Hoya lover, this is this is the place you wanna be. They always have so many Hoyas. And again, like I said, they're gonna just have different 
genus of plants where you're like, where, where did this even come from? Where did this, I, I've never heard of this before. They have a really good selection of succulents. So if you love succulents and you've been looking for some like rare ones or ones that like are just not gonna be sold really ever at your big box stores, this is where you wanna go. They do have a good selection of aeroids, but I find that it sells out pretty fast. So they, they do this thing called the treasure hunt. And um, this is the one website where on treasure hunt days, basically restock days, that the website is still like, it's so slow. And that was a pretty common thing. I think a lot of us know this, like during the pandemic, when a shop, like a popular shop would restock. Like if you try and go to the website on restock day, it's like, things aren't loading you're getting stuck you can't check out and i don't know it's frustrating obviously but restock days with crystal star is like it gives you that same rush that you would get during the pandemic because they still sell out of things really fast um so you do have to try and get there like as soon as possible yeah they have good pricing for the plants that they're offering and a cool thing is that they offer they have a thing called the seven day healthy plant guarantee, which not many plant shops offer. So meaning after seven days at their discretion, obviously you're gonna have to send them photos and things. They'll either issue um, an exchange or store credit if you are not, if you did not receive a healthy plant. But honestly, I've never received anything from Crystal Star that wasn't in like excellent condition. So yeah, my top picks from Crystal Star, the first one would be this Euphorbia Nuthii. I have never heard of this thing before. And it just looks so cool. It reminds me of those trees. <laughs> I think you guys know what I'm talking about. You know those trees that kind of look like a woman, like a woman's booty, her figure with like the legs and it's like in like scandalous positions. So it's kind of like that, but not quite. So they do have two different versions. They have without roots exposed and with roots exposed. And I much prefer with the roots exposed because I think it looks so much cooler than when it's like potted underneath the soil. And a two inch pot is $16, which is not bad at all. My second pick is gonna be one that has kind of been on my wish list for a while, but I'm not like actively seeking it out, but it's one that I'm just like, oh yeah, it would be cool to own it. And that is the Al Alu... <laughs> I think they might've spelled this wrong. I think it's an Alaudia Procera. And I think Alice has this plant and it's just so cool. Like this looks like a Dr. Seuss plant to me. It just looks so silly and like not real. I love how the stem of it is like this grayish white color. And then the leaves are just this bright green. It just doesn't look real. It really does look like it belongs in like a Dr. Seuss book or something. So I was looking at the medium. It looks like they're already really low on stock, but the medium size is $22. I, I do think that they're all still going to come. I think the small and medium come in two inch pots, but medium is a good size. So that would be my second pick. And then my third pick would be, hopefully I don't butcher this, Sarcostemma venlesenii. Sarcostemma venlesenii. You guys, when I was creating this video, I, oh my God, I wanted to check out so bad, but they're not, they're not shipping now they're not shipping and i'm so sad because this thing starts to trail and i'm like okay you are so cool you kind of look like a ripsalis this i think this would be my number one pick it's so freaking cool and it's only 12 dollars. and it's yeah it's in a two inch pot it's tiny but i just this looks like a plant that would grow pretty vigorously once it gets going so i have never heard of this plant before i just love how like chubby the little knuckles are it's just so cute. So that is my third pick from CSN. Now, uh, the last shop is one of me and my friend's favorite. It's called Sarah Lavoie. Um, Alice has been here in person and I would love to go here. There, I don't have a massive desire to visit that province, but if I did, it would probably be just to go to this shop because it just looks so magical. It's like arid, 
funky weirdo plants galore. And uh, if I just, oh my God, it's kind of a good thing that I don't live near this place because I would be in big, big, big trouble. So just like um, Crystal Star, they have a huge selection of plants and it's just fun to browse and discover new species of plants. So again, if you are not, if you don't even live in Canada and you just want to like see some new plants that you've never heard of before, you gotta, you gotta look at this Sarah Lavoie website. They do have a really, really large selection of cacti, different cacti. I was very tempted to get this Euphorbia Lactea White Ghost, but my friend Anna just bought me one that's like the perfect size. And I'm like, you know what? I have to like get rid of this idea in my mind that I always need like the bigger plants because it's perfect where it is. And like I said, I don't really want to put things in my windowsill. Um, one thing that this plant, this shop does really well is curating a collection of euphorbias. I think next to Ripsalis, like in the funky plant category, euphorbia would be my second one. And they always have such cool ones that I've never heard of before. And I wish I could have them all. I really do. But like you guys can obviously see, like they're not huge on the aeroids. Like they do offer like a selection of aeroids, but that's not really where their specialty is. Their specialty is with these like little weirdo cactus. And I think, I can't remember if this is where my euphorbia, what is this plant called again? I can't remember. My little euphorbia guy. I think it's from Sarah Lavoie. I feel like, I think Alice picked this up for me while she was there. I can't remember. I don't think it was from Crystal Star. I don't know why I can't remember the name of this right now, but I've had this for a hot minute and it's gotten so tall. It's starting to do the thing where it like goes off to the side and this is what I've been waiting for. Obviously I was so happy to just have this plant in general, but I noticed that all of them were just like sticking straight up. And from all the photos that I've seen online, I'm like, oh, where did the funky, the funky shape go? But yeah, it happens as it matures and just like, look how cool this is. So this is the one plant that is living, or one of two, this is one of the plants that is growing on my south facing windowsill. And it's just because I, I just wanna enjoy it. It just looks so stinking cool. I think eventually it's probably gonna need a bigger pot soon. I wanna get it like a, I wanna get it like a nice ceramic, maybe handmade pot. So yeah, th this is from Sarah Lavoie. All right, here are my picks from Sarah Lavoie. I actually have four that I wanna mention to you guys. So the first one is going to be this Euphorbia Teronura. Teronura, hello, look how cool it is. It's, it looks kind of like the growth pattern of the Euphorbia I just showed you, but it doesn't have like the brown trunks, but it's just so cool. It kind of reminds me of that Sarcostema vanlicenii from um, Crystal, Star Nurse Crystal Star Nursery in that like it's got these little fat little like stems and it's just so cool. So um, this one is $39.99 which is I think a really great price for a fun little euphorbia. Um, the next one obviously it has to be the Cissus quadrangularis. I think next to <laughs> me pushing the tordum I wanna say this is the second plant that I push heavily on this channel. Anytime like a family member comes over and they even glance at the quadrangularis, it's getting cut. It's getting chopped and you're gonna take a piece home because I just think everybody needs one of these in their collections. So the Cissus quadrangularis is another one and it's only $14.99. Yes, it's in a very tiny pot, it's in a two inch pot, but when I tell you guys this plant grows like a hot damn, I am not kidding. The third pick, is actually gonna be an alocasia. So this is an alocasia, alocasia, alocasia longiloba silver. I think this is so stinking cool. I love how like big the ears look. To me, this also looks like another Rocco's Modern Life alocasia. And I would actually love to own this. I really would. And it's only $24.99. And it's in, it looks like it's in a four inch pot. So this would be my pick in terms of like a non-arid plant. And then the last one is gonna be the Euphorbia boceri. So, oh gosh, I am tempted, you guys. I am so tempted to get this. It reminds me of that dead stick plant. I can't quite put my 
finger on the actual name of it but it resembles that plant a lot but i think this one looks even cooler and more sinister and more halloweeny and creepy and i'm actually tempted to get it it's only 29.99 it's in a four inch pot and if they are shipping ones that have this many stems in it i would say that's a really good deal so those are my four picks from sarah lavoie and then of course Another thing that I want to recommend is just doing something handmade. Like, even if it's... Sorry, some emergency alert. It's just a test. It's just a test. So obviously, like I showed you guys, I'm doing the caterpillar thing. I'm also going to be making the little pretzels. Um, I don't know right now if I'm going to be doing caterpillars or ornaments for friends. I'm still kind of thinking about it but I'm kind of leaning towards the ornaments. But anyway, that's just my thought. So you could do something like that. You could do, um, you know those DIY, th I've never done it myself, but like making like the exoskeleton of a plant. So like you dry it, not dry it. So you like take a leaf and you like soak it, I think in like water and then you just like peel away like the tissue and then it just leaves like the skeleton and then you can frame it. I think that's another cool idea. Or even just something simple as making like a handmade card. I just love getting handmade gifts. I just think it just, I don't know, it's so much more thoughtful, you know, that they put effort and energy into it. And I would much rather receive something handmade than something bought from the store. But that's just me. So anyway, that's gonna wrap it up for my gift guide. I'm not 100% sure I would do a video like this again because it required so much preparation. And I know that editing this video is going to just send me into a frenzy but um you know at least you guys got to see some cool shops i hope that maybe you guys order from them this holiday season and support small business support your local shops um if you have any other shops that you want to recommend um feel free to use the comments as a forum so that everyone else can see it and yeah that's gonna be it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for being here don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and i will see you in the next one